Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with TrailerMountain.com and today I'm testing and reviewing the Kiddo Bunk. This is a bunk bed system, cot system for kids for car camping. It's from DiscoBed.com. Here's their website right here. Definitely want to make sure you check these guys out. If you're family car camping and you have little ones, these are the best thing to get for your kids. So this is it right here. Comes in its own nice little storage sack. Uh, it's not terribly heavy. Definitely kids can carry their own. Uh, they are a little heavy for little, little kids though, so keep that in mind. But everything is really um, organized very well inside these cases too. So I'm gonna get them out and I'm gonna set them up inside the tent. We're doing a little car camping today. And I'm gonna show you how cool these are and why you should get them. Let's get this thing unzipped here. There's your setup, basically, right there. Okay, so you have your pocket organizer. I'll get to that in a minute. You actually have your cot material. You have an owner's manual, instruction manual. Won't need that. And you have these straps. I'll get to the straps in a minute. The straps is when you set this thing up as bunk bed just for added security. So that's the basic design of the case that holds everything. Everything is very well organized and keeps everything nice and neat. <laughs> All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get these out and these have the these little guys on it. So we're gonna start with these. And these have a tapered end. And this is how you connect the wheels to the cross rails that go across that hold the cot. So I'm gonna show you how that sets up. First thing I wanna do, get all these bowls out of, this, out of the case here. These little guys are just here to protect the large large poles here from cutting into the side of the uh, the case. And I'll get to these in a minute. This is what you use the bunk beds for. that case off to the side. All right, so we're gonna get started on the build now. These are the cot ends, and what you do is basically take these wheels off, set that off to the side, and I'll get a little closer to the camera just so you can see. Inside the wheel, right there, is the little hole that this goes into. So basically you just kind of slide this in, push that in, and then that's gonna lock in place. You can see it, the little post is coming out of the hole right there. Once that's in place, the sucker's not going anywhere. Okay, that's those two. Now let's get the other one. Okay, now you have four set up. So now what we're gonna do, move that over there for a minute. 
We're gonna get the long pole here. This is the middle pole. This pole connects these two together. So set one aside. Just like that. Now we're gonna get the cop material. I'll put these off to the side too. Just so I have enough room. So here's your material right here. Kiddo bunk for kids on the go. Really cool, high quality nylon. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna kind of feed this one through one side. Just like this. And then we're gonna get the other end, connect that in place. And now one side is done. Now we're gonna do the same with the other pole. So that's the basic idea right there. Now I have used these before, these before uh, today and got them a little dirty, but you can, see, you can still see that they're super durable and they're definitely gonna take a beating over time, especially with kids. What you do here is when you buy these, you get two of them and one is set up like this the other one will be rounded on the bottom and the rounded one is the top bunk bed. So just so you know, these have the little rubber feet so they don't hurt the bottom of the tent. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put those wheels right in here. Just like this, kind of just put that in place right there. Put this one in place right there. And then once that's there, you just cinch that down and that one's good. Now we're gonna do the same with the other one. Okay, now this one's all set up and there's your cot bed set up. So this is what the kids will sleep on and it's really, really strong. So on the ends here, you have these little flaps. These are Velcro. These flip over and Velcro. On both sides. Now you have this amazing cot set up for kid. Another thing that's really cool that I really enjoy is the pocket organizer. So you have this guy that sits on the front of the cot and just Velcros in place. Right here and right here. And then that keeps all your kid's stuff all organized. You have pockets, you have a little clip, you have a mesh pocket, you have another big pocket here with a drawstring on it for a water bottle or whatever. Really, really cool. All right, so just a quick correction. On the bottom of the cot here, you have these rubber feet. I mentioned before that these are the, this is the bottom bunk. It's actually the top. This is the top bunk here. So what you do is you take these little rubber feet off 
So that's where these guys come into play. These guys would fit right in here and you would kind of push on this and that's what slides into here. So I'm gonna get the other cot set up and I'm gonna show you how it goes together. All right, so as I'm setting up the other one now, this is the other end rail frame here. And you can tell that this one doesn't have those little feet on it. So if your kids don't want to use the bunk beds, you know, they're like, I'm afraid I'm going to fall off or I'm afraid I'm going to get up in the middle of the night and forget I'm on the bottom bunk and hit my head. Um, you can actually set them up just side by side, which they are right now, um, kind of catty corner, but still you can set them up any which way, which is really nice and convenient. So now I'm going to show you how they stack. Really easy to set up and it should only take a few seconds. That's where these come in. So these are the stacking brackets. You have these guys right here. Pop these guys into the bottom feet of this one right here. I'm gonna show you how easy it is. So the little rubber feet come off and there's holes right in here. So that's where this is gonna go. It's gonna go right in here and just pop this in. It locks into place. Do the same thing with all four of them. Okay, so now the feet are in place, I'm gonna move the one cot out and I'm gonna stack them on top. I'll show you how it looks. Okay, so now you can see how they stack together. When you get those little arms in place, they just sit right on top of those little circular discs right there. Just like that. This is where the straps are gonna come in, okay? I'm gonna show you what to do with the straps. All right, so the disco bed straps, basically what these do is they will go around the top and the bottom bunk to secure them in place because this whole thing is set up without any tools. So basically just strap it together just like that and you have plenty of extra um, line here that you can really cinch down on these and make sure that these things are not going to come off of each other. Just a safety feature for the kids. So really cool if they're, you know, afraid that it's going to fall off, you can show them the strap and say, hey, you know, you guys are, you guys are secure. You got, you're not going to fall. You're going to be okay. Now there's a strap for both sides. So really cool, definitely strong enough. And once this thing is strapped together, it's not going anywhere. Now, as I said, the little pocket organizer thing, this thing is really cool and priceless, especially for kids. If you know, if they're, they do have their electronics with them, if they do, um, some parents won't allow them to do that stuff while they're camping. But if they do, you can put your, your Kindle in here, your Nook or your iPad, whatever. Plus you have room for water bottle and a book and some other things too. So definitely nice. You put a flashlight in here so the kids aren't looking for a flashlight in the middle of the night. They know exactly where it is, keeps things nice and secure and readily available. Plus they just Velcro in place and you have one for the top bunk and for the bottom bunk. So really nice, super convenient. All right, so the kiddo bunk also has a super cool feature that you can set this thing up as a couch. And I'm gonna show you how that sets up right now. Okay guys, so now we're gonna set up the kiddo bunk as the bench setup. So it's super cool that there's multiple options with this thing too. So I've already taken off the, uh, the organizer on the top bunk. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off uh, or un-Velcro the headrests and the footrests and then this thing slides down 
on the bottom bunk as a couch or a bench. So at this point, what you do is you release the top bunks only on the front side and only the discs. That's the only thing you're going to be doing. So once those are released, then this thing just kind of falls inside. Get it on the sides here. And I'll get the camera a little closer, but you want it to be resting right here in this little notch right here. So that's how you want to set up the rails on the bottom. These little discs sit right in this little notch right here. So as, soon as, <clears throat> so as long as they're right there, you're fine. You're good to go. And then once this is in place, you kind of just fold this back over. Kind of tuck that back in. Just like that. Now, granted, you do have this bar right here. So on the lower of your back, it's kind of uncomfortable, but this is where you could always put some cushions. If you're car camping, you usually have a lot of pillows. Uh, sleeping bag, you could always bunch up and kind of put back here to really cushion your back. But <clears throat> as a bench, I mean, you could sit four people across on this thing. So it's super convenient and it's really great. Especially for kids, it gives them options. They're not, a, they don't have ultimatums. They don't have, well, you could sit here and that's it. You can sit here, you can sit on the bunk bed, you can take the bunk beds off and have separate cots, multiple options, super cool. Okay, so that's the bench setup. Now I'm gonna put it back on as the uh, bunk bed. All right, so then you just pop this bad boy back on. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna work it back through and then get the discs back on the top here. Now, something to keep in mind that you can't really see it, so let me move the camera around again. So one thing to keep in mind that when you put this thing back on the top bunk, this needs to be flipped so that little button is facing inside so once this thing is in you want that button to be horizontal across the the frame here so once that's in place and your button is right there horizontal you're good to go just something I wanted to point out because it's in the safety instructions on the owner's manual. And you set up your other side, make sure that one's nice and horizontal, and then you can put your headrests back on. Nice and strong, nice and sturdy. I mean, I'm 170 pounds and I'm sitting on it right now on the top bunk and it's not budging for me. So definitely strong, definitely worth it. So another great idea with these is that for one, yeah, they're, they're bunk beds, right? So you have cots set up for car camping. But another idea is, you know, if your kids are having a sleepover and they got some friends spending the night, you're gonna stay up late, watch some movies, whatever, you could set these up in the living room and then the kids won't be sleeping all on the floor. They have actually a comfortable place to sleep and get some blankets and whatnot. And everybody's a lot more comfortable, more happy, even more important, mom and dad are happier. All right, so that's my review of the Kiddo Bunk from Disco Bed. Here's their website right here. Definitely wanna make sure you check these guys out. These guys are making really, really cool uh, bunk bed set up and cot set up for kids and adults too. So definitely wanna check them out. So if you like my review and found it informative, you wanna get some of these for your family, for car camping or for just kids sleepovers, definitely click on that link down in my description box below and make your purchase. When you do, it helps support my website. Another way you can help support is to click on the support button right on my homepage of my YouTube channel. When you do that, you could donate any number of dollars and that's gonna allow me to produce higher quality content to give back to you. So if you have any questions or comments, please make sure you leave them down below in my comment section. I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Also too, please like, share, and subscribe. Here's a subscribe button right here. Make sure you click on that. This way you stay up to date on the latest gear reviews that I'm working on. So thanks very much for tuning into trailermountain.com. Please keep checking back for more gear reviews and other outdoor related hodgepodge. Take care guys, get outdoors. Mm -hmm.